Hi, and welcome to the new section of this course. In this section, we will talk about the geolocation. We will learn how to use the CL Location Manager to retrieve the location of the user. Then we will use the CL Geocoder to convert the GPS coordinate of the user into something more meaningful like an address or the name of the country. Then we will make a small application that retrieves the important landmarks around the position of the user using the Wikipedia API. Let's start with the first video of this section. Let's talk about the CL Location Manager. In this video, we will learn the iOS Location Privacy Model and as well how to use the CL Location Manager to retrieve the user location. Let's start creating a new project and call this project Around Me. Apple is really concerned about users' privacy. Therefore, there are several limitations when it comes to retrieve the user's location. First of all, the location cannot be acquired without asking the permission to the user. So, let me open this screenshot. I suppose we all are familiar with this message, right? In this message, we can read, allow around me, around me is the name of the application, to use your location while you are using the app. And this is a specific message for application that uses the user location only when the application is open. There is another message that is used for application like fitness tracking or drive through application that uses also the user location while the application is on the ground. This alert contains also a custom message that explains why the app needed the user location. In this message, we need your location to show you the place nearby. And this message is mandatory, so let's start adding this message into the application that we just created. Let's select the info.plist file, and then click on the plus button, and select here privacy, privacy location when in usage description. And here on the right, we can specify our message. So for example, we need your location to show you place nearby. And remember, this explanation is mandatory. Now, if we need to deal with the CL Location Manager, we need to import an important framework into the application. This is CL Location. This is Core Location. To import this framework, select the, the project, then select the target, and then inside the build phase, open this section that is called the Link Binary with Libraries, hit the plus button, and select Core Location. Now we can finally use this framework. So let's select our view controller and import this framework. So in order to receive the position of the user, we need to create an instance of the CL location manager. And I want to have this instance as a property of the class. So I will type let location manager equals CL location manager. Now inside the view did load method, we can delete this comment and we can customize the CL Location Manager. For example, we can specify the accuracy of the Location Manager. In this case, we are asking for a specific accuracy that is 100 of meters, and this means that we can save some battery because the position will be not so accurate. In this case, we are asking for this accuracy that is 100 of meters. It's important to always ask for the specific accuracy because if we always ask for the best accuracy, accuracy best, then we will probably lose a lot of battery. Now we need to ask the permission to the user. As you can see here, we have two methods, request when in use authorization and request always authorization. We specify that we want to use the location only when the application is open. So let's select the second one. Now we can finally start poll in order to receive the GPS position. How can we now receive the GPS position? The CL Location Manager uses a pattern that is called the Delegate Patterns. This means that we need to impose this class as a delegate of the CL Location Manager, and the CL Location Manager will invoke some specific method when something occurs. So let's start setting the delegate. And we can see now that we have an error because this class doesn't conform to the CL Location Manager Delegate protocol. Let's click on this method and immediately on the Fix button. 
Now we can see that we have an error here because this class doesn't conform to the CL location manager protocol. So let's create immediately an extension here. That's enough to fix the error. We still need to implement the method that is called when we will have the GPS position. The method that we need to implement is location manager data update locations. And what is important here to notice is that the location is an array of objects a CL location. Why is it an array? It's an array because this method can be delayed and it's possible that we receive two or three or more location directly inside in one single call. And the location are ordered so in a way that when we access to the last object of this array, we always get the last location of the user. So we can, for example, access to this location and we can use the exclamation mark because if we will read the documentation, it's clear that we always have at least one object into this array. And what do we do with this location? We just print. Now we can start our app. Now we can start our application and we should see on the console some logs about the location of the user. First of all, we see the permission. As expected, we see the alert that has the permission to the user. And if we click to allow, then here on the console, we have the location. One thing that is important to notice is that this GPS location is not my current GPS location. So if we go here, we open the simulator and we go to the debug menu and then location, we see that we have six options. One is none, that means that there is no location. One is the Apple location. And this one is a custom location. In this way, you can specify your own location. The other three options are really interesting because they simulate a user that is moving around the city. So for example, if we select city bicycle ride and go again into the console, as you can see here, we receive all the location while the user is driving around the city. This is the end of this video.